area of uh, cylinders. So just as a reminder, the equation for the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h, which accounts for the lateral area along the sides, plus 2 pi r squared for the two circles that are on the top and the bottom as the top and the bottom. Okay, sometimes we can abbreviate or uh, shorten this a little bit if you prefer by factoring out the common 2, the pi, the r, and then just doing a little r plus h. So I don't know which I'm going to do as I go through these uh, examples, but we'll just do whatever's right in context. Okay, so the first problem here is a cylinder that is labeled with a height of 5 and with a radius of 2. So for this one, let's perform, uh, let's do the bottom one. Let's do the second one because it looks like it's a little bit less, uh, uh, less work. Uh, so the surface area is 2 pi r times r plus h. So in the context of this problem, it would be 2 times pi times the r, which is 2, multiplied by r, which is 2, plus h, which is 5. So now doing some simplification, we have 2 times pi times 2, and of course 5 plus 2 is 7. So now we have numbers being multiplied, 2 times 2 times 7, and then a pi at the end, that's using associativity and commutativity of multiplication here effectively, just moving things around, and 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 7 is 8, uh, 28, so we have 28 pi. So we have 20 8 pi square units because it's a surface area, 28 pi. Since I said we're going to do exact here, I don't need to worry about multiplying by uh, approximations for pi. Okay, and the second problem over here, let's look at that one and say, okay, surface area equals 2 pi r times r plus h, but in the context of this problem, the r is a little bit sneaky here, isn't it? Because we have given a diameter. Notice how that line is going through the whole center. So since the diameter appears to be 2, that would mean that the radius would be half of that. If diameter is 2, that would mean that the radius is half of that, and the radius is actually 1. So you have 2 times pi times 1, times 1 plus the height is pretty clear as 10. So it looks like we have 2 pi 1, 1 plus 10 is 11, and 2 times 1 is 2 times 11 is 22 pi, final answer. So why don't you pause the video and try one on your own. Try to do the surface area of this cylinder. And assuming you pause for a second and tried it on your own, remember that the surface area is 2 times pi times r times r plus h. So here, it's 2 times pi times the radius. Since the diameter is 5, the radius must then be 5 halves, multiplied by radius, which is still 5 halves, plus the h, which is the height, and that's 6. So as I go through this multiplication, it looks like I have 2 times pi. There's my 5 halves. Let's see, uh, 5 halves plus 12 halves would be 17 halves here. And after the reducing of those 2's, it looks like 5 times 17 is 85. So we have 85 over 2 multiplied by pi. So the final answer here should have been 85 halves pi.